My name is Keith Ellenbogen. I'm a wildlife photographer and I really focus mostly on underwater environments. I really enjoyed the challenge here of looking not only just at big animals, but now to look at these microscopic planktonic creatures. So I went about and collected some plankton uh, and put them in a bowl. And here you can see a, a concentrated amount of plankton that I sampled. And then I took a little bit of this and uh, photographed it under uh, a light microscope using dark field. And what I really enjoyed about this is it's really the same skills I have. A lot of patience, a lot of looking around, a lot of like finding the right animal um, and then photography. And this is what's called the Navadni, um, which I looked up as it's cool little, I sort of like them because they have this cone head kind of shape. And you can see that uh, what is different a little bit for a microscope in some ways, depth of field, which in photography is always omnipresent, but it, it's much more present in the microscope. And here one on the top has sort of translucent and they just floated on the surface. They're really gorgeous. And you can see inside it, you can see it's pregnant with a number of them and they bloom really fast as I was learning about them. And you can see just they're stacked one right on top of the other under a slide within a smallest drop of water. I just, I really love the, the feeling of this of this image and, and the discovery of this animal. Um, this is a dinoflagellate, it's a photosynthesis. So it uh, takes the sun and, and makes a lot of the oxygen we breathe. They're really spectacular. They're uh, very present in the in the waters there. They're the most common one that I, that I saw. Um, and I liked it because uh, in this one, you know, it sort of moved a little bit and I liked a little bit of the motion that happened and I, I stacked the images. I took a couple of these and brought them together so that uh, unlike the other one that the depth of field was sort of merged together and I liked playing with this. I really found myself enjoying uh, looking under a microscope in a way that I've, I've never really done. And this is a larval crab that was kind of just drifting there. You can see his two eyes and uh, this was a little bigger. Um, but uh, I think at the largest size you can photograph under a microscope and really too small for my for my lens. Um, but I, I, I very much enjoyed this process and the, the discovering an array of different animals. And I was surprised how much time, it took a lot of time, just like my photography. It's a whole amount of looking through each slide it was like a, a journey of a day of, of diving. It was really a wonderful experience. Uh, and then I decided to try and collaborate with a, a friend to go even smaller. And this is uh, using a scanning electron microscope. Uh, this is a diatom, so you can see this is uh, extremely uh, tiny here. We're at like one micrometer, um, and so it's just the magnification is twenty thousand times. It's it, you know it's it's uh, we're right in there. But this is very different because it's not with the light and you use you, your positioning and the focus is very different. I don't know really how to explain it other than it's a lot of like controls and looking on a screen, um, and very different to um, how I do it in in again the same search for how to find wildlife. Uh, and how to find the right diatom and not all are the same. Some don't line up the right way and it's all the same problems of photography uh, just at this minute scale. Um, but I very much enjoyed the process of learning 